Welcome to one of the longest lasting nunchuck trick tutorials on YouTube ever. What is it, like 10 years now? Welcome to Flow Tricks, it is Technique Tuesday. And today we're gonna to be working on a multitude of creative moves that you can use to enhance your style and make it look extra creative, extra unique, extra awesome. Stay tuned. All right, this move is gonna be uh, an under the arm pass cross. So we're gonna to have to learn this one. It's the opposite of the nunchuck pass that you usually know, the over the shoulder pass. We're slashing down and then as soon as it comes across, we're giving it an upward lift like so and we're gonna to try to catch it here to here. First, keep your hand open, feel it, catch. Now here, this is something brand new and it's kind of awkward, but basically what we're gonna do here, once we do this, once we do this grip, is I'm gonna kind of shift my hips counterclockwise. As I shift it counterclockwise, as you can see, my right arm is gonna release and that's gonna cause the chuck to go around my neck. And you're gonna hold your hand, kind of like palm to your nose, but we're gonna put it right next to our neck over here. And this is gonna allow you to catch it underneath this direction. So, whoosh, here, twist, catch. Now what's gonna happen here is your left hand's gonna rotate over your head like so, and you're gonna roll it down. This is gonna all of a sudden create a back to front roll here to here. So, whoosh, twist, go over, pull it down, back to front roll, and then we're gonna do a number three bounce here. Whoosh, this is a hyper bounce, you've seen this one before, and we're gonna lift it up very slightly to where it's about nine o'clock, and our right hand is gonna pop it to the side, this is just standard hyper stuff, and then we're gonna swing it back into our hand, and that's that. So, cross, grab, shift, hand over the head, straight down to a roll, bounce, Lift, pop, catch. Bam. So usually when you do a clutch, you're clutching from the same arm. Uh, from here, we're gonna slash down diagonally. So we're gonna go up to the shoulder, and kind of like we're slashing to our hip, except we're slashing right underneath. We're gonna hold it slightly in front of our chest to the left side here. That's gonna cause the chuck to, to kind of tap across our armpit. Remember, you're aiming for this part for your armpit. And once the chuck starts to come inward, you're gonna see if you can sink your arm down like that. Once you get the clutch, you're gonna lift it up over your, uh, over your left shoulder. You're gonna try to pass it past 12 o'clock, and then you're gonna let go as you open your arm. So catch. Roll. And what's gonna happen is, this is gonna roll over the shoulder like this, and as soon as this gets ready to fall, it's gonna almost be like an over-the-shoulder pass. So you lift it up, and then the right hand reaches down to grab it like so. So catch, roll, catch. This one's actually fairly easy. We're just kind of redirecting it from a bicep catch. So we do the bicep catch. Keep in mind, if you can't do the bicep catch, raise and lower your arms at the same time and then kind of get this right in the crack of the arm and just let it drift down for a second. Let it drift down and then pinch it inward. Drift down, pinch it inward. Once you get that, all we're gonna do, it's very simple, all we're gonna do is take the right hand and let it clear over the left side, kind of like the elbow. Our head is going through the triangle of the elbow, the arm, and the bicep. We're gonna pull it forward. So we're pulling our head forward through. And the moment it's behind us, we're gonna wrap it around and we're gonna slash down. So this move uh, looks a lot scarier than it is, which makes it really cool to do. And we're working on the middle lane reverse figure eight. So first, learn to do this. If you can do this revolution, the next part is gonna be to keep it in the center. So we're gonna give it one rotation in the center like this, and then the hand's gonna grab it again, and then we're gonna change direction. So now this hand pulls to the outside while my right hand pushes down to the center. I'm gonna grab it, this pulls to the outside, and the left hand pushes to the center. I keep it nice and steady, and basically switch right in the center. So right now we're switching the passing point of uh, this reverse figure eight. We're gonna do it two times. So one, two, right? Once it's in the right hand, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing it all the way over our head. It's not gonna be an over the shoulder one, it's gonna go over our head. And our hand is just gonna rest in the back. So see if you can just line up this catch like so. Straight over the head, catch it back here. Once you let go of that, right hand's gonna let go and this is gonna shoot under. Now the trick to this one without hitting your groin is you wanna make sure your hand is actually almost through your legs. Uh, if you don't go far enough, if your hand is by your butt, then this is when it's gonna come up on the other side and rack you really hard. So the most important thing when it's behind you is to really reach down. And what that's basically gonna do, and another thing you can do also, is not go down directly towards your center, but kind of slightly off to the side. So, as you can see, even if it does hit me, it's gonna hit me on the side of the leg right here. But once you get down to here, hand reaches down, you're gonna slide your hand down as far as you can, and you're gonna reach down, and it's gonna be a front grip right here. Whoosh! 
Once that happens, we catch to the center, catch to the center, catch it above, pull it down, catch. Center, center, here, here. So this move, uh, it's just a few basic moves broken down kind of speedily. We're doing a figure eight wrist roll to the side like so. Once we're in a back grip, we're gonna pull it into a clutch. Then I'm gonna turn off to the side, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my palm, and I'm gonna kind of scoot it up to my neck, and I'm gonna revolve it all the way to the other side of my neck, here to here. Once this happens, my head's gotta push through in order to get the next part of the rotation. So here, pull through, get, your, get one rotation behind you, pull your head through, and then swing it down. And from there, you can either, the moment you swing it down, you can either do a, a back grip throw. So here, pull through, throw, and grab. Or you can do some other move. <laughs> so big rate wrist roll, big rate wrist roll, where your back grip, whoosh, catch. Pull it over, here, launch, catch. Bam, awesome. What is this beautiful thing? Whoosh! This is a four capsule LED nunchuck from Flow Toys. It's my last one, and we're giving this away to one lucky $8 or more Patreon donor. I use these professionally for shows. They're fantastic, they're bright, they're rechargeable, and you can even hang them on your walls and use them for night lights uh, when you're not using them for show. So, I use Patreon donations to keep Flow Tricks going, and you may or may not have seen about a month ago or so, I almost had to call it quits. About 90% of my time to Flow Tricks would have had been canceled, and I would have had to get a full time job. I was in the dire straits back then. I kept swimming and luckily just barely got out. I uh, got enough gigs and got enough donations to pull through. I hope that never happens again though, because honestly, this is all I want to keep doing. So if you if you appreciate the videos, please consider a small donation. Every single bit helps. Uh, in the end, I want to create virtual dojos. I want to make a billion ninjas. And this is really all I want to spend my time doing. So if you really value any of the videos and want to support something good, Patreon.com slash Flowtrix, send any amount, it would be super appreciated. Either way, this is going to one lucky $8 or more Patreon donor, so if you want a chance, go ahead and sign up. See you all soon.